here's a sample of where we're up to with the simple lifter so we've got the simple lifter program the spreadsheet running here uh, everything set up with you know, ready for our first squat um, and over on this screen we've got a live scoreboard so this is just essentially a read-only version of that and that can go out the back and show the lifters the, the run sheet where they're up to You've got the overlays for the uh, live stream if you're going to be using that and we can change all of that around if we want to. We've got the left, center and right referees and here is the lights display. So the, the intent is you'll have this one at the, the tech desk and this is the, the one that the tech, de tech desk can see. The scoreboard for the lifters out the back so they can track their progress and then the lights on a separate TV, uh, somewhere visible on the platform, but also for the spotting team. And I'll show you why in a second. So we've got Aaron Archmedes and center referee or the tech desk called Bar Loaded. Everything is in sync. So center referee gets the tracker, the lights change, the live stream changes, and this one also shows you the time. Okay, so let's assume that it is a good lift. Three white lights. Three white lights. Three white lights. Now, wait five seconds. This one automatically updates based on three white lights. And I broke it because it didn't work quite on time. But this should now be showing you the 110 kilo load, and this one is doing it, but because they're not perfectly in sync. So let's try it again. We've got Brian Brilliant now. Bars loaded for him for 110 kilos, and it is three red lights. Three red lights. Three red lights there. There's a bit of a delay automatically moves on to Charlie and then the lights display which is showing the platform automatically shows the the load so that will remain up until the next bar loaded call meaning that the platform see the lights and then they see exactly what they need to load as well we've also got this score sheet keeping up to date Anybody on the internet uh, can load that one up whenever they want as well. So you can provide a link to that in your uh, in the live stream, for example. Now you can just pull up that website and watch a competition. Um, you can also turn off all that automatic stuff. You don't need any of the automatic stuff. So we can the auto attempt or lift progression. If you click good lift, no lift, do you want it to move? Um, it will also change from group A to group B, from squat one to squat two, from squat three to bench one, etc. So you can turn that off. You can turn off the referee progression if you don't trust the lights, but there's no reason not to. And you can turn off the live stream updates as well if you don't want the live stream updates. So that's where we're at. This is all running on one computer with dual screens, but if you've got different laptops or an iPad or anything that can load up a web browser, you can display any one of these or have any combination of computers and mobile phones and tablets and things for the referees as well. You don't need the live stream bit. You could always just do a screen grab of this part here if that's what you wanted to do. Um, so many options, but yeah, that's where we're up to.